All right, we're gonna do a little video with uh, buffalo wings. It's always a favorite around uh, football time and any party or whatever. You know, wings is the American treat. <laughs> so uh, I do apologize about the ribs when I made those on the fourth. Uh, ended up being a long day, and uh, I just didn't really finish the video. But they ended up they ended up being very very good. And uh, all right, so let's get to the nitty gritty here. So I have canola oil heated up. I usually temp my oil. When you put it in a pan, it's not like a fry later would be. It's not going to hold temp once you put the food in there. So I like to get it around pretty hot, probably around maybe 400 or so because like I said as soon as you put as soon as you put that food in there it's gonna go right down so yeah that's hot and then I have I like to use uh, Frank's red with butter just regular original Frank's red mixed with butter and I I mix that up nice and good it makes a nice mix for the wings Okay, so let me grab the wings and then we'll drop them in there. Okay, so I just got some uh, raw chicken wings here, got from the supermarket. Now when you drop the wings in the oil, obviously it's going to go spilling on you. It's going to go flying out and you can burn yourself. Never drop it towards you, always away. So I like to do like that, drop it away. It's going to be a little angry. Hot oil, get some water in there. All right. Drop it right in there. And another thing is, do not put too many rings at one time because they will come up over the top on you. You don't want that. Okay. Yeah, drop that in there. We can start finishing our wings in there. Get them all in there. Okay, so always remember when you're working with chicken, always wash your hands constantly. You don't want to get salmonella or any kind of chicken juice that's raw on any of the food or utensils you're working with so always wash hands with chicken so I have the wings in here I have a nice pair of tongs I'm just gonna mix them up good as you can see they're already browning up that's what you want give them a good mix You can see that canola oil, it just loves that canola oil. There's, there's not much flavor to the oil at all. So you're gonna be tasting the flavor of the chicken and the hot sauce and butter mostly. And then that, that's what you're looking for. You're, you're not trying to taste any oil flavors really. The main idea is to Heat it up good quick, so all the juices get sealed in, and then mix them up. So these are cooking nicely. You never, again, you never want to have that oil um, too cold, or even, you know, you don't want it, uh, moderately hot you want you want hot hot oil to work with because it's going to give you the best end result See that it's getting nice and crispy and obviously you know you can mix any kind of sauce you want once it's done I 
I can make like, uh, I usually like to make like Parmesan wings. That's pretty good. You can use like good seasons Italian dressing in the packet and then you mix it with a little bit of uh, olive oil and some Parmesan cheese and throw them on the wings when it's done. It's, that's really good. You can do barbecue wings, whatever, you know. So that's, that's cooking real nicely. That's just what you want at this point. Okay, a few minutes, I'll give it another check. Okay, a couple minutes later. It's still, still cooking away here. Almost at the point of it being done. I like to get them right around um, like 175, you know, right around that temp. I, I know when you cook chicken, it's supposed to be 165 at least but you know you don't you don't want any blue veins or any little blood in there or anything like that which you could get if it's just making temp you want the chicken to be cooked well right so you want a good chicken wing nice and juicy and nothing less than that so okay so let's give it a temp Try this guy right here. Actually, you know what? Let's try a drum. It's got some more meat to it. I usually, when I'm tapping with a batch like this, or with anything, um, I go for the obviously the, the biggest piece first. Because if that's done, everything else is done. So I go right there. You want to get in the meat, right in the thick part of the wing. And that's that's pretty hot. So we're we're just about done with them. So it's at the desired temp. And if you want, you can leave them in for a little bit longer, get them crispy, you know, whatever. However you like to eat the wing. I personally prefer a little bit of a crisp and a lot of a lot of juiciness. A good Good solid wing. Okay. We'll let that crisp up just a tad more. And then we're going to mix them in the bowl, the hot sauce, once they come out. Okay, we're done. So I'm going to take them off the heat. We don't want them sitting in the oil, so we got to get them out. We don't want a greasy chicken wing. So I put some paper towels to start, just like that, and then we we'll start loading our wings in here. Okay, so we got some nice golden brown wings there. Beautiful. This is my favorite football Sunday treat. I, I love this. I make this almost every Sunday. And make sure we get them all out. Okay, everybody's out of the water, and there you go, that's a beautiful thing right there. Okay, so now I put like a couple paper towels on top, I like to get most of the grease off, I don't like a greasy chicken wing, nobody does, right, so you want to get all that out. Mix it around, get it soaking good. And I'll 
give it a little flip. See? You want to get all that off of it. A little bit's all right, but just try to get the bulk out of it. And you can take the towels out. trash it goes. All right. And we're going to take this beautiful buffalo mix. Look at that. And just spray it on top. And you can get like celery and cut them up in a little sticks and stuff like that. Carrots. Throw them on a nice platter with some blue cheese and it's a beautiful thing. Some good stuff. Now when you mix it in a bowl, here's another thing. I see a lot of people like taking tongs and mixing them up like this. You can do that, but the best way and the fastest way to do it in a mixing bowl like this is you go forward and then pull back quick like this, just like this. See that? Gives it a flip. And everything stays in the bowl just like that. You can pick it up and do the same thing. But just be careful you're not flinging sauce all over the place or anything like that. And just make sure they're coated well. That's the main idea. But <coughs> excuse me. And look at that. That is a juicy golden brown, beautiful wing ready to go there okay so I'm gonna plate them up Let's set this down here okay And the whole camera thing, I'm going to be working on that. So, you know, it's a work in progress. Just starting out making these videos. So, I know it's not the best of quality, but just, you know, the main idea is to get these recipes in and teach people how to make things and make them well, you know. So, let's get the wings in here. Plate them just like that. And I'm not crazy hungry, so I think that should do it for now. Okay. I'm going to get a bowl of blue cheese in one minute. Okay, so we got our blue cheese. And this is my favorite blue cheese. Marie's Chunky Blue Cheese Dressing and Dip. A little on the pricey side. I think it's like uh, five and a half bucks, almost six. But you know what? It You get what you pay for. It's good stuff. I like to put it in a little bowl. You can put it in the plate. Good amount of blue cheese. Just like that. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty right there. And then like I said, you can put like, um, you know, you can put celery in here, carrots, or over here, or a little pile of it. You can make a huge platter of it. However you'd like to do it. And you notice I have these spices here as well. Now, if you want to dress it up a little bit more, you can mix it in. You can mix in a little onion powder, cayenne, garlic powder, paprika, kick it up a little. So, 
you know, whichever you prefer. I, I like just the Frank's Red and the butter. That's that's just fine for me. That's a great mix. All right, so we got our wings plated. And we are ready to eat. Let's give it a little test run here. Into the blue cheese. Mm. That's some good stuff right there. Juicy, crispy, all the above. Mm. Cooked well all the way through. Nice white meat. Yeah. Try a wing section here. Or the flat section, as they call it. Yep. Nice and juicy. Well cooked all the way through. Awesome. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. All right. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to finish this plate and maybe even a little bit more. This came out good. I wasn't that hungry, but now I 